Hello friends, welcome back to India for IAS Current Affairs series. This is Manjunath Mathur. Topic of this video is Blue Ghost. So in this video, we are going to study about what is Blue Ghost, why it was in use, and which space company launched the Blue Ghost, objective of the Blue Ghost mission, and the payloads that, that are being carried by the Blue Ghost. Further, we will be studying what is commercial lunar payload services being offered by NASA and the upcoming commercial that is private lunar space missions and the significance of the private lunar space missions followed by one prelims practice question. So this topic it is important for UPSC prelims 2020, UPSC prelims 2025 and also this topic is important for UPSC mains, upcoming UPSC mains. The reason being all over the world, the governments, the different companies, they are inviting private players to participate in space sector and in India also the Indian government and ISRO they are inviting private players to participate in space sector. So in this context this is an important example the Blue Ghost mission it is an important example. When it comes to the private players in the space sector the famous name is SpaceX. For everyone the private player, famous private player in the space is SpaceX company. So this, this topic, it falls under GS3 paper of UPSC. UPSC a GS3 paper a e topic barate. So within GS3, it falls under science and technology. Science and technology nari sub part space science. Recent agi blue ghost mission, the news ali rathe, yene news ali rathe antandre. This blue ghost mission, it lands on the surface of the moon. So this Blue Ghost mission, it was uh, launched by a private company called Firefly. So Firefly is a private space company in Marathi. Blue Ghost mission is a moon ki send maade rathe. So that is the Blue Ghost mission news ali rathe. So the following image, it shows the lander of the Blue Ghost mission on the surface of the moon. Now we will briefly try to understand the Firefly Aerospace Company's Blue Ghost mission. So this Blue Ghost mission, Firefly Aerospace Company is a so, this is the Blue Ghost mission. Key factors. So, this is the successful moon landing by the America's Firefly Aerospace Company. And this is the second ever private space company to achieve this feat. So, private space company is the second mission. This is the second successful mission. The first successful mission is Intuitive Mission. Intuitive are known to space company. De. So our company is Odyssey and no mission. De. Odyssey mission. Odyssey yes. So this is the first successful moon landing by private space company. The second one is Firefly's Blue Ghost mission. Coming to the significance of this mission, this is the first nearly flawless landing by a private entity. So private company in the Yaude Adachene Ildene flawless without any flaws this is the first successful landing on the surface of moon so that is the significance of this blue ghost mission now we will look into the scientific objectives of blue ghost mission so a blue ghost mission in other scientific objectives the scientific payloads that are being carried by blue ghost mission so a blue ghost mission our scientific payloads na carry this blue ghost mission it carries 10 scientific payloads 10 scientific payloads among them the major focus the major focus of this payload these payloads are testing robotic drilling technology so this mission it wants to test the robotic drilling on the surface of the moon the robotic drilling means drilling the hole on the surface of the moon the second focus area of these payloads is to study the lunar surface and subsurface characteristics then the third is exploring dust mitigation techniques while drilling the hole whatever dust comes how to mitigate that dust so that is the third major focus of these scientific payloads coming to the landing site of this blue ghost mission so a blue ghost mission really land so it landed nearly 20 degree north from the equator so equator in the 20 degree north E Blue Ghost mission in Agade land Agade. So coming to the operational duration of this mission, 
so it is designed to function for one lunar day one lunar day so chandra nalli yenu one lunar day irutte so a lunar day ge one lunar day andre 14 earth days one lunar day equal to 14 earth days so it is designed to function for 14 earth days blue ghost mission upcoming event nododadre on march 14th on march 14th this blue ghost mission it is going to capture high definition images of solar eclipse on moon so solar eclipse in agatte surya grahana ee surya grahana chandrana melmayinda capture madlikke ee blue ghost mission plan madkondide so this is all about blue ghost mission now we will briefly look into the nasa's commercial lunar payload service program so nasa the commercial lunar payload service program anta enide so a program objectives enide so yarella participate madabodu so adanna ivaga now study martta hogona objectives nododadre so the first objective is to expedite the moon exploration by contracting private companies so idara artha enappa antandre private companies enide so a private companies jothe oppanda maadkolodu so this agreement is for so exploring the moon and surface of the moon then the second objective is to build capabilities in the private sector for deep space missions so it means deep space mission in there so a deep space mission na conduct madlikke private players in there private space companies in there our capabilities na increase madodu so to increase and build the capabilities of private players in conducting deep space missions so coming to the participation it is open to all private companies which are located in the united states of america and also this uh, firefly firefly company this is the third company to participate in commercial lunar payload services program of nasa so this program it also offers flexibility for the private companies to carry payloads from other customers be it universities private firms or international entities so that is the flexibility offered by the clps program coming to its connection to the artemis program so what is artemis program this artemis program it is in use from last 2 years last 2 to 3 years in the e artemis program tumba news agide matte e artemis program bandu exam point of view tumba important agide so yen idu artemis program andre it is a nasa's initiative so artemis program bandu nasa da one initiative agide and ee initiative mukantra nasa yen madlikke hotide antandre chandrana angalakke manavaranna matte karidukondu hogi alli manavaru vasisalikke yogyada bandu colony na build madlikke hotide so idrinda munde moon inda mars andre chandrana chandraninda mars ge same human colony na replicate madu bandu plan na nasa bandide so that is the artemis program now we will look into the other clps missions and private lunar landings so clps other missions in itto matte yava private company galu chandrana angalada mele successful agi land agive anta ivaga nodkota hogona so the first one is astrobotic technologies so in the january in the year january 2023 ge astrobotic robot is uh, technologies emba company en madide it sent peregrine mission but it is failed due to technical issues so idu yava mission anna moonik kalisirutte antandre pere green so pere green emba mission anna moon amma chandra nangalakke idu kalisirutte then the second one is intitus machines intitus machine emba private space company odysseus mission idana yavage kalisalagirutte andre february 2023 ge chandra nangalakke kalisalagirutte so this is the first private mission to land on the moon so chandra nangalada mele private company one first space mission successful mission idagirutte third one bandu fireflies blue ghost mission so which we are studying now now we will look into the upcoming and ongoing missions to moon so the first one is intitu missions im2 that is athena mission this was launched on february 26th february 26 2025 and it is going to land on the surface of moon on 6th march 2025 it is going to be la- it is going to be land on the south pole of the moon so that is the objective of this mission then the second mission is japanese private mission haka 2 or mission 2 haka 2 or mission 2 so it is a japanese mission 
it is launched on january 15 2025 january 15 2025 idana launch madalagide so idu chandrana angalada mele may athwa june alli may athwa june alli idu en madutte land agutte either in the month of may or june so ee hakato or mission 2 idra features en antandre idu resilience emba ondu lander anna matte micro emba emba rover anna carry maartta ide so lander name en antandre resi lions and the rover name is micro so that is the importance of japanese private space mission hakuto or two mission or mission 2 in future missions yavudu plan agide moon ge private players inda antandre intuitive machines im3 and uh, astrobotic technology one more mission these are planned in the year of 2025 now we will look into the significance of private missions to the moon so in private players moon ge missions kalsodrinda space craft rover lander kalsodrinda yen significance ide anta now nortta hogona the first one is increased mission frequency so more missions led to continuous lunar exploration antandre so ivaga private players competition alli yen maartare antandre because of competition they will continuously send missions to the moon so this will enhance the competition this will uh, come up with more innovation and this will continuously explore the surface of the moon then second one is scientific advancement how how scientific advancement happens so these private missions they continuously deploy various instruments on the surface of the moon they will study the surface of the moon moon's gravity and everything so this will enhance the scientific advancement then the third one is commercial space race so because of this what happens there is a competition in private players this competition it enhances the commercial space race then the fourth one is lunar economic development so this helps in establishing infrastructure for future human settlement on the surface of the moon so this will build the lunar economy so this will help the extraction of the resources from the surface of the moon thereby it helps in contributing the lunar economy so this is all about blue ghost mission based on the topic that we have discussed so far that is blue ghost mission to the moon so here we have provided one please practice question the question contains three statements go through all the three statements and comment your answer the answer and detailed explanation for this question is available in the pdf handout which you can download by joining our telegram channel thank you for watching see you in the next video till then happy learning